Hello, welcome back. This is Sureful. So, this is the continuation of uh, Maven project. You know, last lecture we have uh, created some of the uh, classes for uh, test classes like login page test, the navigation bar test, the valid title test. You know, we have seen. So, if you haven't seen, you know, those previous lecture, please, uh, you know, watch from the beginning uh, the first uh, uh, tutorial for this. Uh, Maven project otherwise you will not understand so now in this lecture we're going to create a listener class you know for the same project so let's create a listener class so I'm going to let me close this stuff so our listener class will be here in uh, my test classes with the, with the class I have a test so here I have my package for the test folder so let's create a class give a class name say listeners listeners class okay and then and I will implement the I test listener you know I hope you all know uh, you know what is listener class so, and uh, how to implement the listener class to your concrete class and you know, so all those things you know this is another chapter so if you don't know please watch the listeners uh, uh, stops the listener you know what is listeners how it works with the uh, testing unit framework all those things okay I mean assuming that you know about it so I'm going to implement implement uh, the name is I test I test listener I test listener okay this is the I test listener interface okay or we're implementing in our class which is listener class hover mouse so you are say import I test listener so it's a part of test ng okay org so select this option hover mouse and then add unimplemented method here we go so all the method related you know belongs to I test listener interface it's already come over here following over writing in a process of uh, process of uh, oops concept so here is uh, you know it's all the methods we're not going to use all of them let's uh, on test success uh, let's use the on test failure one on test failure one this this method will listen all the methods if any methods gets fail okay and inside the body whatever we want to do you know we can write the code over here if you want to take the screenshot of the failure method we have to write the code over here so let's create let's go back to our base class base class and since taking a screenshot it's a uh, again and again work like whenever method will get any test case will fail I mean method will get fail you know our on test failure method will uh, will you know listen that event and will do whatever we want to do so this is not a one time it's a, it's a you know reusable you know work so for taking a screenshot you know we're going to let's make a, a method for taking a screenshot here in our base class and then we'll call this method in in a listener inside this on test failure so it will do the job exactly you know we are going to write the method here so here we're going to method name would be I hope you all understand you all have the knowledge about the code for taking a screenshot I'm, I'm just going to copy and paste so let me explain you this is a uh, get a screenshot is a method I gave a name for taking a screenshot and here you know I said uh, I pass a variable called let's put this one method name M -E -T -H -O -D, method name so I pass a parameter it's called method name and a string type parameter and then then here I use get a screenshot method and the output type it's a file so input the output type make sure you input the right package those are the important if you miss uh, importing the uh, you know the right package 
you know it's not going to work and uh, it gets a really big mess so make sure you import the right package okay and here let's import the tech screenshot again open QA selenium okay and here import the and so this will this will you know take the screenshot put in a variable source file and and the return type is file right it's import java io and here and after that we're going to yeah and it will this file will have the knowledge about the screenshot and will will save in a java virtual memory so from there we have to copy the file and paste in somewhere in our in your project or somewhere in your local machine right so here i'm saying you know file util utils is a class it has a one of the uh, method called copy file so let's file utils okay I have to files file utils is a file ut utils is a class okay I have to import the file utils imp I have to import the file utils uh, package so I don't see the file utils package here okay here we have to import a jar also okay for the file utils so you have to download it if you go to maven uh, repository site and uh, you know search by commons io then come to here uh, so let me show you it will come to here apache common io so search by just commons io and then click on there there's a version is latest version 2.6 click on there and here you can download the jar file okay and then come to your project uh, in our in our project maven properties then libraries add external so here you know so wherever, wherever you have common sios you just you know select this one i have already i already selected i just imported common sio common sio and okay apply close and now if you hover our mouse you can see there is a package related import file utils okay click on this one so file utils and it has a one of the method called copy file and copy file have a two part it it's a uh, an expect to argument one is source another one distinction source is the, like uh, the source file you have the your screenshot this one and the destination is where you would like to paste you know the copy this file and paste it in your machine or anywhere so I'm saying new file so I'm putting in a new file and where in my C drive I have uh, I create a folder called screenshot test in my C drive and that and then plus concatenate concatenate result I'm going to I want to have the name I want to I want to have the name of this screenshot file by the name of the method the whenever any method gets fail you know when I get a screenshot so that the that file gets name by the method name so it's gonna be you know help me not only see the get the screenshot but also uh, you know by the files name I can see this what's method got failed the name of the file so that's why I pass a parameter over here given a method uh, give a pass called method name I pass over here so this is just parameter so for this parameter you know I will call this method from my listener classes from my listener class on test failure that time I will pass the method name you know there is a way you can get the method name and then you can pass that method name over here to this method name variable and this variable will have over here so it will replace by the actual method name and and, and method name then it will be screenshot.png file okay that's the my uh that that's the way it's going to be copy the file and and store in my in, in my c class in my c driver screenshot method uh test uh, folder okay so let's get back to so here let's copy the method here get back to here in my listener class and inside on test failure method on test failure method I'm going to say let's so to call this method 
you know to call I have to call this method uh, which is inside a base right so to call this method uh, let's create an object of the base class first right otherwise we can't create a we can call this any method from a different class right from the base class so I can use extend because as I already use implements right so base p equals to new base right create an object object of the base class so now let's hover mouse import base now p is object reference p has the knowledge all the method inside this base class including my you know uh, screen short uh, method so let's use where is the on test failure here i'm going to use p and dot you can see now it has a get a screenshot method here i'm going to call the get a screenshot method and it's acts and and it says like get a screenshot method have a method name there is a parameter so instead of parameter i have to pass something real and i said this method the variable method name you know will be will hold will get the actual method get uh, methods n n actual methods which is going to be failed the name of the actual methods right so how how can i get the method Methods name when the method fails. So first of all, on test failure method. This is the method. Its job to listen or to see the event if any method gets fail. And it has one of the object. You will see each and every all the method have a object. The result is called result. This object, this object, uh, uh, it has some. You know, this object. This uh, has uh, lots of internal method to do different tasks. Exa example if I call if I just type result here this object R E S U L T result dot you can see it has lots of method like one of the method called name is get name right get name get name will will get the name of the method it, okay it will this get name okay this method can get the name of uh, uh, you know of the result object so what name it will get the name only those method that will be you know uh, 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 that will be covered that will be listened by this on test failure method it means the method will get fail you know this get name will get only those name so it will get the name of the method and this total things will pass to here in in instead of this parameter method name so this variable now will replace by the math actual method name if any method gets fail which will be replaced over here okay and now let's hover mouse you can see sur surround with try catch block let's do it here we go it's it will get if it's a try block fail it will come to the catch block use io exception that's fine i x i o exception class and we'll use e uh, object reference use the method print strict print print strict trace which will print the you know uh, actual uh, the exception okay pretty much that's it the listener class and uh, i'm not going to do we're not going to do any other things just we're going to use on test failure method okay for a listener save it Ah, get a screenshot okay I'm saying create method no get a screenshot why I'm getting create method so I have a method here name is get a screenshot right I'm using here p dot p dot right get a screenshot Method or at costume 
okay I was getting some error so let's uh, go here uh, I'll just go back to here and I uh, change the argument from method to you know result and then uh, this is the just a variable again I put the result here and then come back to your, your here uh, in my listener class and then I will pass result dot get name okay so this will get the name will pass over here here okay and this result will get replaced by the actual name and here is the result okay but here this is just a variable name some reason was not taking anyways so this is my this is my uh, listener class okay so that's all about the listener class now we're going to have the update our test in XML file so let's go to the test in XML file source so we haven't done anything in our testing XML file so let's create first give a name sued uh, let's give a name okay here okay this is the test we'll keep it the name as a test that's fine and so here we'll add listeners okay we'll add the listeners uh, for our listener class so we'll add a tag name called listeners okay your listener have to be after the suit level so that it's applied to all the test module it means all the test classes so here our uh, sorry this is not this is the I just updated again uh, the project I just updated the project again as a convert as a test in G convert test in G uh, to test in G it automatically bring all the classes here the test classes I have right so I have the test classes I want it to navigation bar then login page then valid title uh, navigation bar login page login page test and then valid title okay and then here let's add the listener class so I will add the listener class so tag the listener tag should be up before right after after the suit level okay and then listener the class name it's a package name dot the class name so it's this is our package name code and box okay this is our package name so I'm just going to code and bottom automation lab maybe an example dot and then class name is the listener right that should be good so navigation uh, okay validate however let's move this one after this valid title and then the login one how about this now save it okay should be good it's very straightforward okay so that's all about the test in xml file so you know it's very simple we put our listener all the classes test classes here and our module is test module okay that's fine uh, and uh, our listener class is good everything is good so in our next class our uh, next tutorial we're going to execute the test in XML file and uh, and then if it works fine everything is good and then we'll update our uh, pom.xml file according to our test in XML file okay we'll see how to update those uh, so stay tuned watch the next tutorial thank you so much